Hey everyone, welcome to our second STEM weekend. This week we're continuing on our weather track. We're going to be exploring a piece of technology that relates to weather. Today it's a really nice day, so we are outside building barometers. To build a barometer at home, you need a few simple supplies. You need a jar. This can be an empty can or, preferably, a glass jar. A glass jar is going to get you the best results. You also need a piece of paper some straws, a balloon, scissors, a ruler, a rubber band, and a marker. So a little bit about barometers. A barometer measures the air pressure. An interesting fact is that a barometer and an altimeter are the same device. A barometer is kept at a stationary altitude in order to measure the ambient air pressure at that location, whereas an altimeter measures the change in air pressure as you ascend or descend in altitude. Alright, so let's get started building our barometer. To do this project, we're going to start with our glass jar. And I'm going to take one balloon, I need my scissors, and a rubber band. And you want to cut just above the stem of your balloon. And then open it up so it's a pouch. Then we are going to cover the top of this jar. Just like that. Alright, now I'm going to try to smooth out the top of this so that there's no wrinkles. I'll make sure you get it nice and tight and then secure it with a rubber band. Now what we've just done is trapped the air pressure, the ambient air pressure, in this jar. Oh, I forgot glue. Return with my glue. This is high strength adhesive craft glue, but you can use any craft glue. The next step in our barometer building project is to get a couple of straws. Now I have bendy straws. So, I am going to go ahead and cut just below the bend, so that it's just a solid straw. I'm going to do that for both of them. Alright, so now I have two straws. The reason I have two is because the longer your pointer device, the more accurate measurement is going to be. Now I've got my super long straw. And I need to glue one end to the top of my jar. And I need to hold this there until it gets, uh, until it dries just a little bit. Notice this end of my straw is actually a little bit lower than this end. That is okay, it's just because the straw is a little heavier. And this will become our center line base. So the next thing I'm going to do a little square out of my sheet of paper and then I'm going to cut it down to a point so that it makes a little arrow right there. I have to cut a vertical slit in the end of this straw and just go ahead and slide my little arrow in there. The next thing to do is take your ruler and your marker 
and I'm going to use the centimeter side. I'm going to mark every half centimeter. As you can see on my paper, I have just made little tally marks going across, and those are going to be our indicator marks for when the pressure changes. What will happen is that we'll mark at which point the arrow is neutral, and then we'll be able to tell when it moves. Folded my piece of paper so that it will stand up. And now I'm just going to go ahead and mark where my neutral point is on this. So it is right here in between these two. So why does this experiment work? Well, what we did is we covered up our jar and we tracked the atmospheric pressure that's on the outside of the jar. Inside that means that this is the pressure right now. But as the pressure outside changes, this pressure inside the jar is going to stay the same as it is right now today. So when it changes, it's sunny and warmer and higher air pressure in, I don't know, an hour. So one hour from now, if it gets to be a higher pressure outside, then it is the air pressure is actually going to push on the top of this jar and raise my indicator just a little bit. See how we're, we're at start and now it's raising it. Now if it's a lower pressure than what's inside this jar, then it will actually release and go upward so that the indicator goes downward. So low pressure downward, high pressure upward. It's pretty cool, right? Now if you're doing this experiment at home and you want to track your weather changes, then what you should do is you should keep your jar inside next to a wall and actually tape your chart up to the wall. If you're really interested, then you can keep a, a journal or a piece of paper next to your barometer and actually mark the date and time of day and how much your measurements change. If it was higher or lower. And then what you'll get is trending data. So you can actually compare that data with what's going on outside and learn how to read the barometer measurements. Thanks for joining me for this STEAM weekend. I hope that you enjoyed learning about barometers and how they work and actually making your own at home. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next weekend.